So, in a short while, I'll be uh, introducing our guest speakers or speaker for, to, for this for, for today. But before that, I want us to take two quick prayer points. We, we can turn our Bibles to James chapter 5. James chapter 5, verse 17. And the Bible is saying, okay, let me read the last part. Okay, let me begin from 16, but the emphasis is on prayer. So I'll, I'll choose a few things or pick some few things. The Bible says, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other. Hallelujah. So that you may be healed. Where I want to emphasize, to place, to place emphasis is on the last statement saying, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Hallelujah. Who is a righteous person? A righteous person is anyone who is born again. Justified by grace and salvation through Jesus Christ. Let me go back to where I wanted to read now, where the main meat and meal is. The Bible says Elijah was human, was a human being. Even as we are. But the difference is that he prayed earnestly. That it would not rain. And it did not rain for three and a half years. And again he prayed. And the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its crop. Whatever you need in life is in prayer. And if you are playing, oh no, the results will show that you are playing. But the Bible is saying Elijah was human like us. He had fear like me. I don't know about Pastor Grant, maybe he doesn't have fear, but uh, I know it's not fear. All of us, we've got a certain element of fear in our life. This great man, Elijah, he killed 400 prophets of Baal. He slaughtered them, 400 of them. Then a, a woman called Jezebel said, For killing these people, I'm going to kill you as well. I'll get your head. And this man of God he ran away into the caves. Three and a half years he was hiding. So can you see that Elijah is like all of us? But the Bible says he prayed. The Bible says he prayed earnestly. KJV said he prayed fervently. Now, 
When you are praying for something and your answer has not come, continue praying. When your answer comes, continue praying. But you should know what kind of prayer to pray before, after, during. You know what I mean? At MCCI, we, when we are doing prayers, we do the devotion within an hour and also we do nine prayer points. All prayers of thanksgiving. Five are saying God give, intervene in the lives of you. Warfare Four out of nine is praise to God. So children of God, whatever you are going through, if you can pray, you come out. Hallelujah. And the year is coming to an end. God has answered all my prayer requests in the first year, in the first month of the year. I've got no prayer requests. The prayer request I have is to say, God bless your people. Bless your people. Give us land so that we can build it. I don't have personal requests. Why? Because I know as I'm praying for you, God is taking care of my needs. Hallelujah. So we are going to stand up on our feet. So I don't know what problem you are going through or what you are believing God for or what is tormenting you or the challenge you are going through. But if you are a young man, you are 23 years, you don't know where you are going, you must pray hard. Twenty-five years they are calling you to come and eat shima in your father's house. It means your, your life is... Ati wakula wafika pamsingu, hungo kutia shima mnyumba ya makolo, wene kena kupempera. You must have an idea where you are going. At least at the age of 18, 20, you should know. At least where, this is what God is taking me. One of, one of our sons or my sons in the house, uh, Alicia, is a, is a graduate from CPU. Good grades. But he knows he's a pastor. With his first great degree from CBU. He knows that he's a pastor. God has called him. Some of us, even me, maybe I would say, let me work a little bit before I go into ministry. So, children of God, you must know why God created you. One reason why God created you. There is one reason why I rarely move with friends. No, I said I don't want. I said there is one reason mainly I don't move with friends. Yeah, that's correct. Now I, I didn't say I don't want to. I, there's a reason why I don't move, not I don't want. I know what God has given me per time and assignment. So, I don't need people to encourage me to say do this. I know what God has given me. Even when God says do this, it doesn't work out as we expected. We are, I'm still not discouraged. But listening and following to what God is saying is what makes you a victor, I mean a, a champion in life. So we are going to say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, answer my prayer. 
The beauty of serving God is testimonies. The beauty of doing a crusade is to see people healed and souls are saved. You are encouraged to do another crusade. The motivation of going to work every day at Monday to Friday at 8 hours is because you know they will pay you, isn't it? If you've not been paid for 6 months, are you motivated to go to work? So, we are going to say, Father, answer me as I pray. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus, answer me when I call in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Mighty God, our Father in heaven, mighty God, oh Lord, your word says that call unto me and I will answer you. Jehovah, I pray this morning. We pray this morning. May you answer your people. May you answer us, Lord, as we call. May you motivate us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we pray. In the name of Jesus, may you give answers to our expectations. May you give us answers, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We are going to reject the spirit of discouragement. Evangelist was saying the first people he prayed for they were dying. <laughs> you can be discouraged. <laughs> this area God will not call me. Hallelujah. But he was not discouraged. And you see now how God is using him and miracles are happening. So we are going to say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, I reject the spirit of discouragement in my prayer life. In Jesus' name, let's lift our voices and pray. Mighty God, we dis we despair, oh God. We reject, mighty God, the spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. Lord, every spirit that is there, Lord, to discourage us, mighty God, we reject it in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we pray that in me, may we be strengthened in the place of prayer. May we be strengthened, oh God, by receiving our expectations, by receiving our answers, Lord. Mighty God, encourage us, Lord, with signs and with wonders, Lord. Encourage us, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for your people. Whatever they are believing you for, in their jobs, give them testimonies. Whatever they are believing you for concerning their marriages, concerning everything, Lord, every area of their lives, decorates their lives. Perfect everyone's career here. Perfect everyone's prayer life, Lord. We thank you, mighty God. Give us one reason, one reason, mighty God, that we encourage us to push and go ahead in the name of Jesus. We know what Christ has done for us. Lord, I know that sometimes prayer can be hard, but give your people testimonies, and may they have a reason to celebrate in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because you've done everything well. Let the saints say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning we are privileged to host our visitors all the way from South Africa. Uh, we encourage you to, our corporate pastor, you know, just to say a few words. Before we can have a Pastor Grant to say something. Mom, come and say something.
Amen, amen. Good morning, family. It's an honor for me to be here this morning. Like I said previously, I moved to Zambia two years ago. And the first time I put my feet on Zambian soil, it was with a suitcase to stay. I didn't come here to see if I like the place. I came here because God told me in a dream you have to come to Zambia. So I packed my suitcase and I came uh, We are running the Bible College, Christian Family Church Bible College. I have to honor my spiritual Grandfather, father, Dr. Theo Vormerans and Pastor Bear, uh, Dr. Bear Vormerans. I wouldn't be where I am today without them with their inspiration and their teaching of the word of God. They've taught me the importance of presenting God in the right way. We don't try and impress people by what we present. We present the word of God solidly. And we trust God to give us favor as we go. Your beautiful pastors. I just stepped up and said, Pastor Nell, we want to help you to host your, your beautiful people from South Africa. And I thank you for that, so thank you so much for all your efforts in hosting us. Thank you so much for all your efforts in hosting us. They are even students at my Bible school. <laughs> Which means they are so hungry for God. And I believe God's going to use them to do mighty things. Thank you so much, Pastor Noel, for having us. Woo! I want to thank you, Pastor Madhuri. I welcome. Do you want to give mom to say something? Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm determined to be able to greet you before I leave back to South Africa. Oh, yes. And I'm determined to be able to say Jesus loves you. And uh, I want to just honor each and every you might be seated. Thank you. So much. I want to honor Dr. Noah and Dr. Bear and Dr. Bear Blessing. I honor you. Your life is not in vain, sir. The testimonies that I heard. Um, how you practice sowing and how you practice sowing and reaping. At momentum verela, mamene antu mu achita zintu zwa mukupereka gakare mukukolola. And your passion, sir. Ati gakare kuzipereka kwano panchito ya mulungu wa apusa. The call of God on your life. I, I am convinced that you'll be facing uh, persecution. But sir, don't give up. You have to give up. You have to give up. You have to give up. 
Atika kale antu kwa ni kumakari Ito ya kwa ni na 60,000 I can see it, I can taste it already Atina mbela kutu mpingo Kapula kwa ni na antu Kwa ni na 60,000 Musokolo And generally it's our brothers and sisters in Christ That have so much to say about us Amen Ata wani apale ndia longo mambui Amenanga lankuli zotele But I celebrate you sir Ati kwa maningu osangala na nainu apusa mainza. To our MCC, CI, family. Ati kakale banja lonse la MCCI. Or should I say MCCI? Ati kakale kule maingu. Ma CI tatu ndiposa na hai. Thank you for all your hard work. Ati nziku wa munga mbaka kusipereka na kusewe za nchitu. Thank you for your love. Kakale chikonti chanu ni kutiziku wa munga mbili. Thank you for working in the crusade with us. Gakale kuseven za nafe kumkrusedi Kapena kumsonka anuziko Abale ningo peleka ulemu Kwa inu unonze Thank you for singing that Zulu song my brother Atiziko wa mombale Kwa kuimba ija nyimbo ya kwa atu Ya mchizulu Pastor Benjamin would have been happy with that Atiziko wa mombale And if you don't know what it means It's most important we love you That's what we were singing Pastor now thank you Abusa na noyo Ziko mkwa mbili Beautiful wife I honor you Gakare kule akazi wanga Niko ngo upereka ule mundi ule mwelelo And I want to honor Dr. Fosco Kian Dr. Beverly Wormerans Ati mfuno upereka anso kuwa kulu Askulu kutia ambuye Akare waku wa sogolela Through their obedience and teaching Ati kumukumvele ila mpunzi So kapena mkupunzi sa ana askulu My life has changed Ati umoyo wanga wa sinta suli chumisi. And I want to encourage you to get involved in this church. Ati ningo lankula kutinu mkale mbali ya uyumpingo. The teaching of the word of God will change your life. Ati mawi ya mulungu kapena mapunzi so ya mawi ya za sinta umoyo wanu. And if I might just for two minutes or three minutes. Ati nzango lankula chintuchina kwa ntawi. I've heard a lot about snakes lately. Ati nango mvela kufanjo. In Yonka. Excuse me. In Yonka. In Isizulu, I don't know what it is in Njoka in Njoka Njoka And it's been a spiritual thing I've noticed Ati ikuli chumzimu cha Njoka Chimene naona, chimene chumakala pakatika antu So I just wanted to, I just felt led about this Ati nangu osoku leletwa na mpamfu ya mlu Because I did some good advice for And God willing we'll get to that Ati ngatambui ati sokolela Dizango lankula hapo tizafika I want to start off by telling you a small testimony Kwa manina umboni Umene nifuna nilankule kwa inu Wachi chepene It's actually amazing my brother Ati abale ni chintu chota hapo isa Ichi chintu chota hapo isa Ati nainda kuziko la India 17, 20, somewhere around 15, can't remember now Ati papita zaka zimene tinafika kuja kumano Preaching in a church that actually looks like this Ati tinali kukulani kila mpingo Kumene unali kulanka ni na monga huyu Except the thatch roof is made out of coconut leaves Ati kuyu wasi anako chufuka mamangito ya malata hiyo Ya namanga na chumtengo chijafi And the walls were also at this height Ati ngakale mumaoneke dombali inaliko But the leaves would go all the way to the ground Ati kwa mafija matepo finali kufika pansi mpingo wakaena Kwa kuhinja kwa mafija matepo They had the marble floor because marble is like normal tiles in India Ati kambiri kuja kuziko la India kuma peseka kapena mkati maoneke dwe Ya makala chape muli chape flo It was in a Muslim area as I remember Ati kunizi wa kuja kuziko la India muli mwaningi a Muslim Walked into the park into the street Church. There was an old man wearing his his dhoti. A dhoti is the wrap around that the Indian men wear. And he was, and he was rubbing his eyes. We had a wonderful meeting. And a wonderful altar call That's what I told you about the woman with the, with the, with the sari Was in that church 
Ati ndiye ichangani mene nalangula hapo anachokera kakare kumpinga umene huyo. And I sat down and I was watching all of this thinking it was very funny. Ati nakala pansi kulanga nila ndiponso nao na munga chintu ichi chinari munga nila. People gave their lives to Christ. Koma antuambi ya napasa mioe yao kwa Yesu Christo. And I felt led just to pray for the, just to pray for the fire of God. I got up, I prayed, I sat down. Now I was watching all of this thinking it was very funny. I sat down and I was watching all of this thinking it was very funny. I sat down and I was watching all of this thinking it was very funny. I sat down and I was watching all of this thinking Ati sina vese se kuti chichina kanga wana nani kugamba chini chitu ndicha kuhindi ya kiki kiki sina mfele chitu ndicha I understand yesu we understand Ati kuma yesu ni na mfele kuma ifi chitu ndo nchofu na sina mfele What are they saying? Kuma nafu nsa kwa uti avantu waka mbachiani The one lady spoke that she had been, uh, she had uh, problems with the kidneys or her back. Atukunani msimai wina mena nala nkula nali na futo na msana wake kakare mbana. She was in pain for 16 years. Ati anankala na ayo futo imuzaka zoku anila 16. And she said, I saw the light. Atukuma nala nkula uja msimai kutina unakuni kakapena light. And the pain was gone. Nipunso kubawa kwa msana uja mena nali kufutika na ukunaenda. In other words, the glory of the Lord was there. Kuma mwaipuwa pafupi na unakutu ule melelo wambuye unalipa malopaja. And I don't know if it's prophetic that it looks the same. Ati sinizi wakapena nini nene la pantau zino. Chifukwa chinari kuoneka chimozi mozi. The old man came and he testified. Ati uja mzibambo wechi kulire na ya napwela kusokolo ndi kupasa umboni. And he had a, I don't know what kind of eye problem it was, but he couldn't see. Ati kwa manali na futo ya meso, kwa masana ziwe kutu ni futo ya tani, kwa masana li kulangana. But he saw the light. Kwa manaye, anaona kuhuni kakapena light. And he could see perfectly. Ati niponso, anayamba kulangana puino puino. But why I wanted to tell you the story is, there was a lady that said she saw a snake coming to bite her. And she saw the light. And the light chased the snake. That was a spiritual thing. With all the witchcraft that goes on in Africa. We need to understand. That there is someone who lives in us. That is greater than anyone. So, so if, anybody, if any of this. Sorry, if any of this witchcraft kind of thing wants to come against you, you need to understand who lives in you. Uh, if you read Psalm 91, and I'm not going to read the entire uh, a psalm for you. <laughs> but it is a basis that we live our life on. It talks about he who dwells in the in the house in the secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is, I will say of the Lord is my fort, my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Mwambuye iye amene ine nizadalida. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. 
atika indetu azam masulani kapena azam chingilizani kuli pepo ili yonse yoyipa and from perilous pestilence atika kale kuli zonse zimene zinga kuono ngeni ino I'm told recently there was an outbreak of cholera ati nafela kutu kunali vuto ya kolera munu mziko but this scripture tells me kwa maya mbukulo patulika ini limbikisa kapena itu that in the midst of that kind of thing atika kale kunga kwe ntende ili yonse tiene kira kusiva Protected. Because God's word says so. He says that uh, he talks about you shall not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day. Nor of the pestilence that pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday verse number 13 you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra and the young lion and the serpent you shall trample under so there is nothing that we can fear because the truth of the matter is that God has said he protects you and we become more than a conqueror we were doing a, a, an EE3 call on a farm I mean, the, I mean the people on the farm we weren't going to the farm and trying you know, and Jeannie were, Jeannie were with me and we walked out the light was off when we came in it was dark and the light was on when we left. And there we saw a snake with a crushed head. It had walked in the snake was there it tread on its head and when he walked out it was dead and I want to say to you that God loves you if you are born again that the Holy Spirit lives in you. Don't fear the witchcraft that is around. Take your authority. Take the word of God at face value. For the Bible tells us. And I must just, it's 1 Timothy 1 1.7. That you have not been given a spirit of fear. But power of love and of a sound mind. I love telling stories. And I learned that because it helps to make a gospel point clear. Jesus used to use parables. We read in the book of Exodus that where Aaron and his sons were to be anointed as priests of Israel. Moses had to slaughter a lamb without blemish. Moses had to slaughter a lamb without blemish. 
you know, it was clean. It was like Jesus is the Lamb without blemish. And then, then what he had to do? He had to anoint him with that blood. The right ear. The right thumb. The right toe now why God chose that I can't tell you but as we know in Africa we know about all of these demonic things and the story goes like this there were some people that had been to a crusade God gloriously born again. They have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And here they walk home in the dark. And they're busy singing. And in the corner, corner, there was a big demon and there was a small demon. So the small demon says, I'm going to go and attack them. I'm going to cause big trouble. The big demon says, you can't no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. He says, why not? He says, look. You see what I see? Can you see the blood? Can you see they covered with the blood? That's the blood of Jesus. And if we get anywhere near there, we are chased away. My brother, my sister, my family, you are covered in the blood of Jesus. You are washed in the blood of Jesus. You have the perfect blood of Jesus that is speaks today. Don't fear those that want to attack you. Be confident. Be strong. That which God has promised. He is able to do. Prayer is vital. We can't do it without prayer. We need the word when we pray. Take what God tells you in his word. Don't go back. But go forward. So don't fear what people are trying to do. Often times we have these, and uh, we have people saying, but this is they coming against us. We have this, and we have people saying, but this is they coming against us. And all I can say to you is this. Is that you? You get what God tells you. And believe Him. Because God is on your side. It's not here to punish you. It's, it's not here to destroy you. He's here to raise you up. He's here that you take over. The command that, that God gave Adam and Eve. To take dominion. To possess. Remains for us. 
to this day take hold of what God has given you take hold of his word spend time in his word if I may make a suggestion during this month of prayer and Pray and the word. Because God is one is about to do something spectacular. God is using you guys. God wants to make a change. He uses people to make the change for you. It's not time to relax. It's not time to grow weary. But it is time to go forward. I said to Pastor Bob, Bonker, who is 78 years old. He said, when are you get they said, when are you going to retire? He said, I don't retire. I refire. For the the next season of my life. It's not time to step back. It's time to step up. Let people see the light of God shining. Let them demand an explanation. When you walk into a room. They are going to ask you what is different about you. And then you can tell them who lives in you. I also believe God wants to do something about wisdom, my brother. That you guys will have the answers. The people will say we don't know what to do. God will pour his wisdom in you. And you will have the answers. And it's the spirit of God in you. Giving you the wisdom. Isaiah, Isaiah 11 verse 2. <laughs> They call the seven pillars of the Holy Spirit. And we know that it is this, one is the first one is this, he is the Spirit of the Lord. He is the Spirit of Might. He's the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. We understand that one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is the gift of the word, words of wisdom. So, I believe that's what God wants to. Now, as we continue in this month of prayer, if you want a title to, to uh, the few minutes that I have left, it's called Prayer the Harvest is Ripe. I believe there should be multiple services in this church. But it's, it's going to take for us to reach out. And God wants to use you to reach out. Let me just give you a couple of pointers. One, if you want to pray, you need to know God intimately. John 17 verse 3 
mau ya mlungu Yohani chapter 17 verse 23 This is eternal life Ai mau ya langu la pamoyo sata that you may know God Akuti ni mzamsi wa mlungu and his son Jesus Christ Ndiponso mwana wake Yesu Kristo That's the same word I or an equivalent word Aya ni mau yo lingana kapena yo yendera pamozi When the Bible says Ndiponso mau ya mlungu ya langu la kuti And Adam knew Eve Kuti Adam anali kumziba Eva and she conceived Ndiponso anabeleka Eva So no God intimately Atene kero muziba ambuye pafupi na pafupi kapena kwenda nayo You need to believe God Ndiponso chosati atene kero kulupirira mulungu waku mamba Pray and not believe Atikapena kulira ndiponso kusakulupirira is a waste of time Atikati mulira chape simkulupirira mulungu mungo tanta uyana Mark 11:22 says. At Mark chapter 11 ndime ya 22 ila ngula kuti have faith in God. Ati kala ninacho chikulupiriro mwa Mulungu. And we have a, on on Christian growth it's called called how to pray for definite results. At mwa malembe twena ngu ya Kristu ni kupepera mo langi na mayongo ya 11:22 to 20 Four, if I remember, 22, 23, and 24. Yon se alam kula pali And requires for us to have the faith in God. Nipon so yati limbiki sa ife kutitikale na chikulu pirido. Some translations say, have the God kind of faith. Ati malam kuli dwe na yani yati limbiki sa kutitiene kero kala na chikulu pirido. Chapa fupi na mwenyeatu. Or have the faith. Of God. Ati umumala nguli dwee na kutitikale na chonchi kulupiriro. Chonchoke na kwa mlungu. Number three, if you pray. Chonsati na ngati mwapempe na. And you haven't forgiven anyone. Ngati sumu na kululukirire mtu wina mena na mulakwirani. As much as I can jump up and down and I can shout and scream and I can do what I want to. Ati kakale ni nga chumpe ine kukwa pansi nga timtima wanga su kululukira Your prayers will not be answered Ati ambuye sanga landi ile mapepero yanga You have to forgive Tene kero kwili lana kapena kukululukira wina ndimu kwa nchi And that's Mark 11.25-26 Niponso ii choka Mark chapter 11 ni ndime ya 25 kufikira pa 26 Number 4 Niponso cha number 4 Now God's will through his word Atitene kero ziba mlungu kupiti na mau yache God's nine will is God's word Atingati fabale tamusi wa mlungu Atitene kero ziba mau Pray for something that's not in God's word Atingatunga pepe na chintu china Kucha mene si choka mau ya mlungu Young gentleman Ayu wa mnyama ata wachichepele If you see that beautiful girl Gatu wa unakamsika na kama onekedwe ya mwino And you say hallelujah the blessing of the Lord that's my wife Ati mungo kamba kuti haleluya mtaliso wa mbuye uini mkazi wanga And she's somebody else's wife Kuma uja mkazi wa mene ukamba ni mkazi wa mtu wina You won't get her Ati sunga mtenge uja mkazi Because God's word say is God's word Chifukwa mau ya mulungu ya zaka lape mau ya mulungu And that guy say Dr. Noah Ato sa enda kuli apusa apusa no God has spoken to me in a dream Kuti mulungu ala nkula nane mchiloto She must divorce her husband and marry me Ata ene kero siya msipambo wake akwatile ine You know what you've done Musi wachimene wachita You went to the pizza place Ato wa enda kunga anjo yu And the pizza was off Ati niponso ya pese kati kuja kunga anjo ni kwa zima And the off pizza affected your dream Ati niponso Mene waona pa kusoko neza mtu wa mwa Chukwa mawi ya mulungu ya zaka lape mawi ya mulungu The bottom line is this Kwa machulu anga nila ni inchi Effective prayer requires a relationship with God Ati kupepe la mwampamfu kufuna kuyanja na kapena chianjano imwe na mulungu And a question was asked to Apostle Thea Ati kuna nifunso imene inafunsa inafunsido wakuli Apostle Theo You can pray up to 8 hours a day Ati munga pempele inu kukwa nila maawala yu kwa nila 8 You are not called to pray for 8 hours a day Ati kwa masumu za pempele la maawala yu kwa nila 8 patikuli mozi God called him for that Ati kwa mauja naita ni idwa mwaizi You can pray if you start 15 minutes a day Ngatu wa ya mba chape mao mtau 15 minutes Before long you're getting up 2 hours earlier to pray Ati mungu piti liza uzambo enda ukula mape But the question was This person said I feel bad because I He said that we It's like we are forced to pray 
Ati kuli mtu wina na kamba ati sini mafabu ino chifukwa chidi munga angu oti pushi nga kutipemperani. Apostle Theo said this. Ati kwa mawio apostle kapina mune nedi anala ukula isi. I don't pray because I have to. Ati ne sini mapempera chifukwa nyene kero pempera. I pray because I love God. Kwa mani mpempera chifukwa ni mkonda mungu wangu. And out of my relationship. Niponso chimaleta achianjano. I want to spend time with him. Ni mafuna kukala na yontau mapempera. Prayer is a two way street. It is a conversation with God. Because I can't say, God, give me the answer, and I don't give him the opportunity to speak to me. I want to spend relationship. And you can speak to your pastor, he's read how to pray correctly and all those things. That, that will help you with your but this morning I wanted to just uh, tell you this. That prayer requires action on our part. Not only to pray. But to go. In Mark chapter 9. Mumaliko chapter 9 from verse 35 to 38 Niponso ndime ya 35 kusiriza But I will only read a three scriptures for the sake of time Ati zango libelenga chape pata tuchifukwa cha ntao The Bible says this Niponso mawe ya mlungu ya lakula In verse number 36 Mumaliko ya 36 of Mark chapter 9 Mumaliko chapter 9 But when they saw the multitudes Kutipa mene anaona kamu la atu he, that's Jesus, Uyuniyesu. was moved with compassion for them. Because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Verse number 38 says, Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest, to send out laborers Kuti atume, atumwi, into his harvest. Kuti ayende, akolole, yake. What we see in these scriptures is that Jesus had compassion. Kuti yesu, chifundo, pakamula, antu, kapena, you know why antu. miracles take place? Muzibanchani, kuti isa, zima because of compassion. If you read in the Gospels, Often times the Bible says Jesus had compassion. The, the woman had the widow who had lost her only son. The Bible says Jesus had compassion and raised the man to life. We need his compassion. The Bible tells us in Romans 5 verse 5. Niponso mau ya mulungu ya lankula muli aloma chapter 5 in Timea 5. That the love of God has been poured abroad in our hearts to the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Kuti mau ya mulungu ya na kapena chikundi cha mulungu cha ikitu wa pamutima patu kupiti na mpavu yache ni mau yache. We love God. People. Because God loves people. God's love is in us. And so God um, expects for us to share that love with them to reach out to people to see past why they act like they act 
Atukwenda kuona zimene awo alipe kuti batiechiani and to see that they are hurt. Kuti bacha bantu waone kuti amveledwa kapena atandizidwa. The great man of God said this. Kuti kuli kapolo wa mulungu wa mukulu wa pamwamba amena nala kula ipi hurt people ati kuzonda bantu hurt people uzazonda bantu they carry hurt in their lives amena kuanyamula chizondo mumtima mwao and out of that they hurt people asacho osa chizondo chifuatie chimti god in us kwa machikondi cha mulungu pa umoyo watu tianikira kuyenda kusakira wajaoso wa ndiku wale Jesus says to his disciples ambuye yesu analangula kuopu nzila bache the harvest is plentiful kuti kukolola ni kwa kunyinji kapena ni kwa kwa mbili and we know if the harvest is left on the field what happens atitizi wangati chokolo la chasara kapena milisi zango si wa munda and it's destroyed one of the greatest uh, we were at Mahatma Gandhi school atitinanda na busa ku school ku mtendere ku Mahatma Gandhi Mahatma Gandhi was a famous man ati Mahatma Gandhi zina hii anali mtu ochuka kweni kweni a short bald little indian man ati anali mtu ochokera kudziko la india kwa makafupi kwa mpambo kozipeleka na makofu the amazing work in south africa let me tell kwa mauyu muzina hii anachita zoda bwisa kudziko la south africa Mahatma Gandhi the father of india diponso achedwa kuti ni tate wa dziko la india is a hindu ati nguyu wa chipembezo cha chihindu and he said diponso analangula mahati magande this christ i would follow ati uju yesu ndio amenenza konka but the problem i have is the christians koma futo imene nili nayo ni a kristo hawo god expects us to reveal him ambuye ayembekezera kuti aziwonesele pa umoyo watu ye. why didn't moses get into the promised land nichifukachiani moses sana fike kumalo ya mchilo jeno because he must represent god koma iye moses sana mtumikile mulungu mamene iye mulungu anali kufunira as you sit here pamene mwakala hapo ino hapa if you are born again ngati ndimote mbenuka mnapato mwanso pano you're not an ordinary citizen sindi ndo mtu wachape kapena mtu you are a an ambassador koma i want to all to me to wambuye of the king of kings wamena atumitwa na mfumo ya mafumo and of the lord of lords kapena atumitwa na mfumo ya mafumo carry his authority atitinayo ulamulira wamena tinyamula ochokera kwa kumwamba you carry his resources atitinayo kapena bali sili sonse zake za menitili nazo in order to represent him kuti ife titumikile kapena tuonesele mulungu kapena zitiko zake you are his representative on earth kapena ife ndife antu amene taita nindu wakuti timuonesele timuimilile mulungu wangu and to God expects you to represent him nifonso ambuye ayembeke zela imwe na ine kuti timutumikile panchito yake by reaching out to others kuti tiende kunja uku kulali kila mau yache kuenda kulali kila mau ya mulungu ndi chikondi chake chikondi cha mulungu allowing him to love people through you kukumulupomekeza ambuye kuti chikondi chake chionesele kuli antuena you are god's hands ati infetili vana wa mulungu kapena mancha ya mulungu you are god's feet kapena tili mendo ya mulungu your god's ears kapena tili matu ya mulungu your god's mouth kapena tili kamwa ka mulungu kamene iye azala nkulirapo on earth today pano pasiko la pansi siku ya he wants to work through you ambuye afuna kukwira nchito kupitira mwa imwe he wants to use you ambuye mulungu afuna kukwira nchito kuti amsebenze seni ino because the greater one lives in you chifukwa wa mkulu opambana alimkati ka ife you can read that in romans chapter 8 verse 11 tingamene ngaya malemba mbuku ya aloma chapter 8 ndime ya And you can read that in Ephesians chapter 1. Tingabele genso mu Aefeso chapter 1 verse 19 and 20. Iponso ndime ya 19 kusiriza la pa 20. Can I I'm going to finish off because I, my time is nearly up. Ati nzasiriza Mosa chedwa chifukwa ntau siri na ine. Let me tell you a story. Atilekani kuzeni nsonkani ina. That's found in John chapter 4. Iipese kama Yohani chapter 4. There is a woman that's sitting at the you know the woman of the well. 
Atitimsiwa uchamsimai hapa chisime uja. Do you know that she was a, a sinful woman? Atimusiwa kutu uchamsimai anali uochimwa kapena uopelevela paulevela. She had had five husbands and the one she was living with was not her husband. Atu uchamsimai anali na zimuna uokuwa ni na five. Diponso wa mena anali kukala na esana li mwamuna wake. She wasn't a good advert for marriage as well. Ati sana li mzimai wa mena anali woyene na kapena angakale na chukwa na chumozi. Now when the Jews we were leaving from uh, I must just remember the place they were leaving from I can find it here basically they would leave from uh, it was on the way to Galilee now Jews would take a long route around in order to miss Samaria. But the Bible says, Jesus says, I must go. I have to go through Samaria. Why did he have to go through Samaria? He had an appointment. There was someone waiting for him. Didn't she deserve his attention? So, no. Did any of us deserve his attention? He went. Because he was commanded by God to go. And everything he did was driven by love. Niponso zose zimene Kristu Yesu anali kuchita zinali kuchitika chipa cha chikoni. Koma chona tichiri hapa nichi. Through that meeting not only was a woman set free but an entire village was saved and I believe that's the end result of Umtendere my brother but the point I want to make is this there are people that had God as a sign to our lives that he expects us to do things that he expects us to do things that he expects us to do and to amen ali also ali pechochita they may not uh, be deserving of it at and to amen sali oyenera kuti angalandile chintu chochokera kwa mlongo but god expects you koma mbuye aimbekezela imwe kuti muyende as his ambassador papukala ino muimirira mulungu wa kumwamba to share the love of christ with kuti onesele chikondi cha mulungu kwa iyo also wao bantu as you spend the month of june prime pamene tizapitiliza ndi mapempero mu mwezi uno wa june don't forget to reach out. Pray stirs up the anointing in our lives. And reaching out to people becomes as easy as breathing. Because the same spirit that created heaven and earth at the word of God the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you and he wants to work through you and Ephesians 3.20 says now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within you to accomplish infinitely more that we might 
then we might ask or think. So my challenge today. There's someone waiting for you. There's some people waiting for you. For you to reach out to them. To reach out with the love of God. And to bring them into the kingdom of God. You say, but I don't know what to say. But God will give you the words. He just wants us to go. So I'm asking you during this time of prayer. And rich people and hands on the sick cast out the demons let's see the kingdom of God grow when we drove to the church today there's a big harvest field there were people at the graveyard many cars at the gymnasium people walking up and down and waiting for us so go out and reach them you know what? they're going to testify my brother and I praise the Lord for that plot in that house but they're going to testify of the people that led to Christ. May I have one minute for a testimony? Sir? I have a testimony. Uh, at the time of the service, I don't want to be so I need to honor the authority. We have a young man that went through. Uh, amazing, there were a group of young people that were in our youth group. And young people, I want to encourage you to serve God. Not only in your relationship, but to serve in the church too. Because out of those six or seven young gentlemen, we have two graphic designers. One, one young man is contracted to Microsoft and Apple and to design stuff for them. For so that. One is a, a teacher who teaches across the world. One is a, a mechanic for Audi. I see they were in uh, Mauritius again, wasn't it? Because he's no longer a mechanic. He runs the workshop. On those fancy Audi cars. The young man I want to tell you about, his name is Stuart. Stuart is a pilot. And he's a, uh, he flies these this 737 airplanes. Faithful to God. But now Stuart is one of these people, if you ever see him, he's very quiet. Everything must be in line. He's quiet with people. When he gets into a cockpit, he changes a little bit. And he takes authority. But with people, he's... he's and he was still doing his training at the time. And he was running on the Virginia Beach in Durban. And he was 
Because his, because his medicals were coming up. And when you run on the beach, you run bare, bare feet, you know. So he was sitting on the bench, putting his tackies on to walk up. And a man sat next to him. And he greeted this man. And one thing led to another thing. That he led this man to cry. A young man that is quiet. But God used him. And he found us the next morning. He says, I want to tell you what happened. He says, I couldn't sleep all night. This man gave his life to Jesus. Oh, he says, God wants to use you like that. When you have the excitement of leading someone to Jesus. The excitement of seeing God change their lives. We saw an alcoholic man. He ran from God. He ran from God. He ran from God. He gave his life to Christ. He gave his life to Christ. And became the head usher of the church. God will do that through you. Because his fruit lasts forever. Well, three things are, are with permission I'd like to pray for. The first thing is as we bow our heads and close our eyes. If you're not born again, if you've never given your life to Christ, or if you are playing church, but your heart is not right with God, if you've walked away from Him, won't you use this opportunity to give your life to Christ to give it by faith you can't change your life only Christ can. For the Bible tells us it is by grace we are saved through faith. That not of ourselves it is a gift of God. Not as a result of works. So that no one can boast. Amen. 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 If you are in your mind, you are having a battle. Were you saying in your mind, I should go, I should do this, but what will people say? Remember this. Remember this. You will give account for your own life. Your friends can't. So can we have those that raise your hands? Put your hands up high as those that have raised their hands. Will you stand with me quickly? Those with your hands up, stand quickly. You're welcome to come to the front. Those that put your hands up. We want to pray with you. We want to invite you into the 
into our family. We want you to be part of our entire family. You, come forward, if that is you. you say, I want to rededicate my life to Christ. And I want to give my life to Christ. I want to stop playing around. And I want to be serious with God. We want to pray with you. So you come forward. I'm going to ask if we can have some of your leaders come and pray with us. If the leaders in the church we need your help. And we want to pray with you guys. I want to say congratulations on the on the choice that you have made. Young people, you have a life ahead of you that God can straighten. You made a choice that families will be changed. Because we and our household will serve the Lord. Gogos, your children will see. And your grandchildren will see. And lives will be changed. So will you pray with me? Let's raise our hands. So I'm going to pray in English. You can repeat it in English. Or you're going to pray in Nanja. Yeah, and my brother will pray in Nanja. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven. Dear Father in heaven.